Good afternoon, Utah. I hope that you're having a marvelous Monday. Our headlines today include a warm day today. It's really going to be beautiful, but we are starting to see some changes. Moisture is moving into the southern half of the state, and maybe by the second half of the day, we could see an isolated shower down south, but that rain chance will start to increase tonight. We'll see wet weather for mo majority of the state as we make our way through the next couple of days, and after we get some wet weather tomorrow, we will be going on a cooling trend across the entire state. So today it's going to be a beautiful warm fall day. And if you're going to be going outside, you're going to you picked a fantastic day to do so. I mean, just look at the fall colors right now. It's Sundance with a few puffy cumulus clouds off in the distance. That is just beautiful. I love the shades of purple, yellows, oranges mixed in with the evergreen trees. Doesn't really get much better than that. We'll see a daytime high of 81 degrees in Salt Lake City under a partly cloudy sky, 78 degrees in Delta, 77 degrees in Cedar City, and 90 degrees in St. George. And you'll see for the southern half of the state a little bit more cloud coverage. And that's because, again, moisture is beginning to work its way in. And as we go from tonight into tomorrow, an area of low pressure will be moving from southwest off to the northeast, moving into southeastern Utah. And that will be helping increase the chance for showers and thunderstorms, especially in the southern half of the state tomorrow, with it being a little bit more isolated in the northern half of the state. But with that higher rain chance down south, there's also going to be the chance for some heavy rain on top of that, but you can actually see all of this currently in motion. Clouds are currently working their way in from Arizona and that low pressure still sitting off the coast southwest of California and that low pressure is what's going to be moving from southwest off to the northeast. And as I mentioned in the southern half of the state tomorrow, that's where we're going to see that highest rain chance in the southern third of the state. Basically think from Beaver, Hanksville and Moab southward. There's also going to be a marginal risk for excessive rainfall that could result in some flash flooding. So if you're going to be in the southern half of the state, tomorrow, maybe going to some of our national parks. That's something you're going to want to keep in mind. Now let's play this out all, all forward going through the watching your weather for you. As we go through today, clouds will continue to increase, especially in the southern half of the state. And then by tomorrow afternoon, we'll be looking at scattered showers and thunderstorms for the southern half of the state, isolated showers in the northern half of the state tomorrow afternoon. I'm thinking for the Wasatch Front, the best chance of rain is going to come between late Tuesday into early Wednesday. But even during the day on Wednesday, isolated showers will be remaining a possibility. And heading into Wednesday, we'll be going to be talking about cooler temperatures across the entire state. Here's how it looks on the seven day forecast in St. George with a daytime high of 90 degrees under a partly sunny to mostly cloudy sky. By tomorrow, we introduce that chance for showers and even an isolated shower or two can't be ruled out tonight. But temperatures will be more so in the upper 70s and lower 80s, keeping at least a small chance of rain in the forecast through Friday. Then temperatures will settle in the middle 70s for this upcoming weekend. Along the Wasatch Front, lower 80s for today in Salt Lake City, a high of 81. Then for Tuesday, an afternoon and evening chance for some wet weather. But we'll have the chance for showers Wednesday, Thursday and Friday with cooler temperatures. Then it'll be much cooler for your Saturday and Sunday with daytime highs in the lower to middle 60s.